We're at the Power Sports Expo in Pomona, California, and today we're going to take you through the show to show you the cool campers, accessories, and even a few RC cars and planes they have on display. Starting off at the Storyteller booth is their all-new 2022 Mode 4x4 vans built on the 2500 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis with the 144-inch wheelbase, high roof, and 3-liter turbo diesel V6 engine. Both of these off-grid adventure vans are fully equipped with a motorized awning, exterior fold-down table, easy access refrigerator freezer, seating and seat belts for four people along with two bed options. Everything on board, including the microwave and roof mounted AC, run off the 12 kilowatt energy storage system, which includes a 3200 watt inverter. New for the 2022 model year is the full color touchscreen control system to manage the different components inside the camper. Black Series brought several of their off-road travel trailers to the Expo, along with this toy hauler. The rear storage space can accommodate ATVs, motorcycles, and other toys along with four fold-down bunk beds. At the front of the camper is a two-person bed, which means this toy hauler can sleep up to six people. There are also windows up front storage cabinets, and a wet bath with toilet and shower. The indoor kitchen includes a propane stove, microwave, and 2.6 cubic foot fridge freezer. The outdoor kitchen is equipped with a stainless steel slide out sink, propane stove, and prep table. Our friends over at Four Wheel Campers brought several of their lightweight pop-up campers, including the Hawk flatbed truck camper, a couple slide-in truck campers, and the Project M topper. This lightweight topper is attached to the bed rails of a mid or full-size truck and comes pre-wired for power, front and driver side windows, vinyl pop-up liner, and insulated sidewalls and roof. There are also plenty of options that can be added to the build, such as a top-loading refrigerator, roof vent fan, passenger side windows, portable toilet, mattress, and more. Van Duet brought one of their modular Ford camper vans to the Expo, and this one is set up to seat and sleep three people with the additional passenger seat in the back. It features a two-person platform bed on top with storage cubbies throughout the camper and a single bunk-style bed below. We had a chance to visit the Van Duet HQ in Blue Springs, Missouri a few years ago and enjoyed checking out these modular custom campers on the Ford Transit chassis. Next to Van Duet was Shower Pouch. Their pocket-sized body wipes help outdoor enthusiasts maintain good hygiene when showers and sinks are not available. Kate and I love these body wipes and this time we got a chance to check out the inside of their flatbed pop-up camper by Overland Explorer Vehicles. This camper is equipped with a two-person bed in the cab over area, a built-in toilet near the side entry, and small nets for storage throughout the camper. There's a large dinette in the back of the camper that can seat four people with large windows around the pop-up portion of the camper to let light in. The galley is equipped with a two-burner gas stove, sink, refrigerator freezer, and pull-out drawers for additional storage. One of the standout vehicles was this custom Overland build by the team at RRE Global. These custom composite boxes can be turned into the ultimate expedition vehicle. X-Grid Campers brought several off-road campers to the Expo, including the Cricket. This NASA-inspired lightweight travel camper is 15 feet long with a dry weight of 1,800 pounds. The dinette transforms into a full bed at night, which can sleep up to two adults. There is the option for additional hanging burrs that will accommodate up to two children. With the roof popped up, the interior height of the camper ranges from 4'2 to 6'10. Some of the additional options include a driver's side window AC unit and portable toilet. As far as eye-catching vehicles at the Expo, 
The Resvani Tank SUV definitely drew in a crowd for RKS Off-Road. We didn't get a chance to go inside this Motive trailer, but based on the specs, it can sleep four to five adults and is equipped with a freshwater tank as well as gray and black tanks. This replica of Herbie the Love Bug was one of my favorite vehicles at the expo. I can't imagine the amount of time and money that went into this vehicle. One of my dream projects is to one day build a Baja Bug and take it on some fun off-road adventures with Kate. In terms of vehicles with the most miles, the winner might be this Toyota at the Trail Swing booth with just under half a million miles. Equipped with a rooftop tent, full-size spare, and an extra fuel can, this rig is ready to explore. Speaking of exploring, Kate and I plan to travel on two wheels one day and high on my list of possible motorcycles is the BMW 1250 GS Adventure. I already know the back seat will be a much more comfortable ride for Kate compared to my DRZ. One cool accessory we found is this helmet mounted brake light by Brake Free Tech. Using a patented brake detection algorithm, this smart brake light offers highly accurate brake detection and high visibility with 100 ultra bright LEDs. An unexpected but welcome surprise at the expo was the variety of RC cars and planes on display. Now that Kate and I have some land, there's plenty of room for activities, including flying these old warbirds. Of course, we couldn't leave the expo without taking home one of these RC cars for the road. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.